This podcast is part of the Planet Broadcasting Network. Visit planetbroadcasting.com for more podcasts from our great mates. Red Hot Comic Book Movie News. Shooting up your butthole. The Weekly Planet. The Weekly Planet. We gotta change that theme song. Like, literally every time I hear it, I'm like, I gotta change that theme song. Anyway... Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of the Weekly Planet. Just, a, just a tweak. What do you mean a tweak? Just that butthole thing. It's like it doesn't help. It hinders Mason. <laughs> well, I'm going to chop that out of context and <laughs> put it on Twitter or something. Uh, the show where we talk movies and comics and TV shows. It's not as rude as you'd think. My name is James, mm. also known as Mr. Sunday. With me, as always, is my co-host Nick Mason. It's not as rude as you'd think. As, rude as you'd think. If you're first Great time tagline, listening, yeah. yeah, I agree. Mm-hmm. Uh, so yeah, we're, this week we've got a we've got a bunch of stuff to talk about, don't we, Mason? Yes. We're going to talk a little bit about some Disney Plus news. What might be coming there? Tom Holland wig news. Oh my goodness! Uh, face <laughs> That's off. all Aaron, just <laughs> all in one. Face off news. Oh. Gina Carano news. I'm sure a lot of people mm. have heard about that. Uh, casting for uh, The Last of Us, Sonic Two. Uh, what else we got here? Captain Marvel casting. We got our first look at the Joker and the new Justice League trailer, which we haven't actually seen yet at the time of this going out. But by the time you people hear it, it will have come out. That's exactly right. Last week we thought to ourselves, "Oh, we should record the podcast, get it, make sure we get it out on time, and then the Super Bowl is going to hit, and there's going to be just, just, just so a many, swath. just there's going to be a swath of incredible, you know, trailers and ads mm. and things that we're we're going to need to talk about. So we're gonna we'll do a bonus episode and we'll chuck it yeah. out. And then we watched it and we're like, yeah. No, it's like nothing. one trailer Fair. for the Winter Soldier. Fast, Fast Nine yeah. came out, yeah. No, no, that looked good. Did you you watch the Winter Soldier trailer? I did. Yeah, and looked pretty good. It pretty good. I mean, there wasn't so uh, there wasn't a lot more in terms of you no. know action reveals. It's but... light on uh, story details, which I appreciate. Yeah, which I guess uh-huh. WandaVision as well was going. That's true. In. Yeah. Yeah. Speaking of uh, our latest recap is up. Yeah. And if you like us cracking open a big um a big a big chocolate surprise, if you like us receiving bribes, yeah, uh, you'll love that video in yeah. the form of a thing we mostly didn't eat because we're old men. <laughs> Exactly right. But now we appreciate With that. With poor metabolisms and weak teeth. Exactly. So, yeah, but yeah. It, uh, uh, Marvel sent us yeah. uh, uh, a Valentine's gift, mm. perhaps assuming we're a couple. Yeah, which yeah. is fine. Yeah. Okay with that. <laughs> as long as we get more gifts. Yeah. I don't care. That's exactly <laughs> <laughs> We'll claim to be anything. Well, we, don't give, we don't give a shit. Yeah. Uh, right. speak, speaking of, though. Uh, oh, so, that, well, oh, what yeah, I was going to yeah, say. Well, what yeah, I was going to say. Blah, blah, blah. No, what I this was going to say. What I was going to say. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Uh, if, if people are listening to this and they're like, hey, are you guys going to talk about WandaVision? We do. It's on YouTube. Yeah, so it's on YouTube. You wanna, exactly. You know, every week, every uh, Saturday, Collings edits that together like a madman. And then you put a spoilerific thumbnail. <laughs> get the fuck out of here with that spoilerific. Uh-huh. Look, James? get off the internet. Look, I can understand why. You, maybe that's a minor spoiler. But don't go on the internet if you haven't seen it. I can't be any uh, more direct than that. Get off the internet. You could internet. be more direct. You could, Not really. You could individually mess, you know. <laughs> oh, that would be very direct. Or even in person. Yeah, That would sure. be more. I, but no, there's much more spoiler stuff in that episode that uh, people will see. If they have, if the, spo- if you haven't seen it, spoiler alert, <laughs> I guess. There's some direct for you. But no, Disney Plus have reached 95 million subs uh, this week. They wanted 90 million in four years. Oh. So that is ahead. And uh, Bob Chapek said this to Deadline that Black Widow, they're going to be watching, uh, seeing the reopening of theatres and consumer sentiment in terms of going back to theatres. So I would say uh, this is probably going to have a dual release. Ah. Maybe not in May. Maybe mm-hmm. they'll push it back again. But I don't think it can be pushed back any more time than time than one more. We want our Marvel yeah, stuff. Give it, and also give movie. presumably uh, because they're tying TV and movie continuity together in a lot of ways. Mm. If if we, if they knock out WandaVision and Falcon and the Winter Soldier and we still haven't seen anything, it's going to screw up the yes. timelines, I would imagine. Exactly. The references. The Easter eggs. The T-shirts that people are wearing. The red circles. Yes. Yeah, all those arrows. Exactly. So uh, I just want to see it at this point. I'm not even hyped. I'm just like, just put it out so we can move forward, please. Yeah. <laughs> so we can all just move on with our lives. Yeah. It's been well over a year since when it was supposed to come out mm-hmm. and she died Two years ago, yeah. Spoiler alert uh-huh. uh, for that, but no, you're right. It's not. It's it's, and I get, and I guess that because I want to see Eternals and I want to see Shang Chi, yeah. which means we have to see this we have one. To get through this one, <laughs> which is probably. I hope it's good. It's probably pretty yeah. good, but it's not. It it's it's not a it's not a game changing concept. 
No. Because it's basically just ca- a Captain America movie again, we assume at this yeah. point. We don't know. Maybe maybe they're going to make some big changes. Maybe they're going to reveal she's still alive or she's come back to life or there's a clone or something like yeah. that. But beyond that, it's it's someone with a lot of kung fu and good reflexes yeah. fighting other people with kung fu and good reflexes. For the most part, yeah. yeah. It seems that way, doesn't it? Uh, I got some Tom Holland wig news. I oh promise that up top. So uh-huh. I don't know if you know this, but he actually – walked into uh, the new movie with with his Uncharted hair and a bit of his Uncharted Nathan Drake swagger. Oh, is, is that the you Nathan might, Drake attitude. Exactly, that you might see in a video game. And also, like, his pants were wet up to the knees, like Nathan huh. Drake's often are. Uh-huh. And they said, you've brought too much Nathan Drake to this role. And he was like, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> what should right. I say? Whoa, 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 oh, oh. Look, so, Lordy, he said. So, so, so which, is, I, which is Nathan Drake's signature. Correct. Sound when he's about to fall off. He's a about ledge. to fall off a thing. Yeah. So what I've done, uh, there's a quote from Tom Holland about how he wanted to keep his Nathan Drake hair because oh. they wanted to keep a wig, and I've actually sent this quote over to Mason. Oh, you've emailed to me. Okay. That's I'll right. Because he yeah. does a better Tom Holland voice than I do. Okay. And even though you haven't read this, I'd like you to give it a go. Okay. <clears> yeah. <throat> Me hair in on chart is much cooler. He stated. <laughs> I have cool shaved sides and it's slick at the back. And that's not very Peter Parker. He's a bit of a loser. So they put this wig on me that was just around the sides. For the first time in my life, I put my foot down as the leading actor and I was like, I'm not flipping wearing that wig. You can just, I'm going to have shorter hair and you're going to have to deal with it. This guy's getting real. Right? Yeah. He'll say anything. He'll say anything. Uh, He doesn't fear cancel culture. He'll wear a wig that's a bit... (laughs) Bit short around the sides. So I changed. Want... Uh, it was a different F word, but I changed it to flipping because I thought, oh, okay, I thought yeah. it would be funny. I understand. <laughs> but, uh, and also, you're not a big fan of swearing, so I didn't want to put that on you. You know what I mean? I understand. Uh, so, what do you think about? I would have worked in. I would have. I know you would. I know you would have, Mason. I, I, it's not, I'm not. I wasn't trying to trick you. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> but uh, you notice every now and then there's a thread in Reddit or something that's like, do you notice Mason, Mason, Mason doesn't really swear that much? Do you notice that? And people are like, yes. We know. Yeah, and they're like, why'd you call him Nathan Mason, Nathan, Nathan, Nathan? <laughs> Some drunk, uh, obviously, Nathan. Mm. Uh, we've got another bit of news, though. So. Well, Melbourne's uh, two days into oh, uh, yeah. We're in another third lockdown. lockdown. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Third, feels like forever. And we might be coming out of it midweek, or we might stay in it forever. Mm. We'll just see what happens, won't we? It's uh, okay. I um I bought some toilet paper. Yep. And I bought a box of donuts, so I'll be fine for, for weeks. <laughs> That's right. I'll be fine. <laughs> you freezing them, or are you just keeping it out on the bench? The toilet paper. Yeah, I was going to say, yep. <laughs> all right, we've got to... Uh, uh, the answer is I've eaten it all. <laughs> <laughs> Everything I've purchased, I've eaten it. Uh, so did you know that Adam Wingard, who directed The Guest and the upcoming Godzilla vs. King Kongery, um, <laughs> they, uh, he, he's making a, a face-off movie. It was announced They're being, They went down the King Kongery. They, they did. Got some, <laughs> we we, we got to stop Godzilla somehow. We went down the King Kongery. That's right. Uh, so he's working on uh, what was called a face-off reboot. Ah. But then it was revealed this week that it's actually going to be, wait for it, don't, you don't have to wait, it's a direct sequel. Ah. What do you think of that? It's a sequel to the original face-off, yes. John Woo's face-off. That's right. Starring Travolta and Cage. Now, Does that mean Travolta and Cage are back? I guess so. But I guess, well, the thing is. <laughs> unless. Spoilers for face-off. Unless, face James, off. how about this? How about this, James? Yeah. Oh, because the bad guy dies at the end of Yeah, face but they off. got his face still. Yeah. Did, did they really? Yeah, because he was wearing it at the end. They had to take him off and swap it with the John Travolta face at the end. So they still have – how about this? We've got his face in storage. Modern, it's modern day face off. Mm. It's too unrelated. Maybe we get we get some stars of today. We get sure. Holland and Chalamet or whatever. Sure. And Do you really noticing if they're facing off though? Well, that's the thing, James. That We don't swap their faces. Mm. They still have Travolta and Cage's faces in storage, <laughs> a la The Mask. They're filled with evil magic. Oh, okay. And, you, and they put the, those faces on, they become those characters. A lot cast of Troy and whoever John Travolta played. Yeah, oh, evil man. cast of Troy. Are you excited for this? Yes. I think it's it's a, there's a good chance it will be um, better but also worse at the same time. An unmitigated disaster. <laughs> yes. yes, I agree. Uh, yes, yeah, so, I mean... I guess we're doing another face-off, and I think it's better to do a sequel. There's your title. Yeah. I guess we're doing another face-off. Do you think it's going to be like John Travolta is head of the face-off organisation? Oh, it's just been constant. We, we've talked about this before, I think. What's just that? Const- just constant facing off. <laughs> just everyone. And, one- and somebody turned into a horrible monster, I think, the last time too we discussed Too many faces? It. Yeah, too many faces. Just stacking yeah. faces up. Just stacking, yeah. Okay, cool. If they could work in that meme where somebody's crying and then they're wearing the happy mask on top into, yeah. the, into the movie... I'd love that. If they've reached a point. They've they've been using this face off technology for so long that whenever somebody like goes to buy drugs or something like that in an alley, they're like, yeah. 
using face-off technology? Is that <laughs> you a guy with a different face? Do you want do you want a, like a trench coat full of faces, yeah, like of loose right. faces? Yep, yep. <laughs> you get a black market one. Yeah, oh, I love it. I love right. face-off. I think. It's a great concept. I think. Let's drive it into the ground. It wasn't driven in the ground enough. I agree. Well, they never they never did anything with it after, did they? Yeah, so yeah. Someone's got to. You're like, okay, I need what I need. I need a new face because mm-hmm. I'm going to be doing some face off stuff, obviously. Mm-hmm. Um, and I'm going to need I'm going to need a, a basket of doves. I'm going to need two gold handguns. Yep, yep, yep. And I'm going to need I need it, need some clips, but like in like a gun belt. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, gold, yeah. Oh, clips. Gold, gold clips, yeah, 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 yeah. And I'm going to need some sort of springboard that I can leap off in slow yeah, motion. Yeah, very good. That's, I like that. I like that. Mm. It's going to be so much face-offing, and that's what I'm looking mm. forward to, I think, yeah. the most. Do you think they could maybe do a gender swap? Or do you think that's too much? Yeah, for... we've talked about it. Was, we, we went we've with, done this, we? went with we? David Harbour and, oh, that's right. and, a, and, a, and a small lady of some sort. I'm not sure who it was. Someone from Game of Thrones, Probably, maybe. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, probably okay. Amelia Clark or, or, or the... The, the X Men, the, the X Men girl. Yeah. yeah, you might be right. Okay, here we go. Uh, so people would have heard this this week because it was big news. Mm. Gina Carano was fired. Well, I guess not really fired from. I'll, I'll read the quote from Lucasfilm, and there's a bit to kind of work through okay. with this because it's a real saga of things that I just fucking love, just <laughs> chipping apart. We just you know love I mean? talking about this, and then this. getting the comments in the Facebook groups and people screaming about cancel culture and. And whatever, when maybe it's consequence culture for some people. We love it. Who are we to say? We love it. <laughs> we just love it. But uh, Gina Carano is not currently employed by Lucasfilm. There are no plans for her to be in the future. So it basically means that she'd finished her run on The Mandalorian Season 2. Uh-huh. There were rumours that she would that, that Range of the New Republic show was going to be built around that character. Uh-huh. Uh, but they didn't end up announcing that because of some questionable stuff she'd been posting online. So mm-hmm. they delayed that. Uh, so I guess technically not let go, but not... Rehired, yeah. I guess, but it's fired, really. Uh, nevertheless, her social media posts uh, denigrating people based on the culture and religious identities are abhorrent and unacceptable. And for the for the, the final nail in the coffin, because it's it seemed to be that a lot of people have um, mentioned this, including the Hollywood Reporter, that there are a number of things that were that kind of led up to this, and that were Lucasfilm were like looking for like the last thing to kind of like there's yeah, the door. it's a kind of yeah. a saturation of events, I yeah. guess. So the quote from The Hollywood Reporter is... James, please. Hollywood Reporter. Thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> um, is it she was sorry, on a, sorry, sorry. The liberal left rag got reporter. Got him, got him. Got, got him, got him. Uh, the unofficial... She was on an unofficial uh, probationary... Probationary? Probationary status. Okay. And they're keeping her close eye on her. That's why she had that pee plate on her the whole time <laughs> in, the, right. in that show. <laughs> Uh, that's why she could only carry one passenger at a time. That's right. Mm. And they were, so they're monitoring her behaviour moving forward and waiting to give her a reason, um, waiting for a reason to fire her. So the, the, it seems that the straw that broke the, the Dubax back. Ah, there you go, very Star good. Wars, thank you. Keep, keep it, it alive. Keep it alive. Keep it alive. Yeah. Just we, a bit love, of, we love this. Just a bit of entertainment fluff. Uh, she made a comparison between rounding up uh, Jews in Nazi Germany to being a Republican. She didn't say that, though. She she put up a post of somebody else yeah, saying sorry, it. Yeah, sorry. It was a, yeah, exactly, yes. Which, You've got to be clear. I guess that's true. What, she didn't technically she didn't say, say anything. <laughs> she just no. put this up on a on a public social media for everyone to see. Exactly. Do you have a direct quote of that? Or? I don't have it in front of okay, me right. because I don't really want to read that either. Because yeah, it's, to be honest, it's obviously complete horseshit. Yeah. I mean, you can think what you want, but that's obviously, that's, that's obviously not true. And if you're working for Disney. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, off the back of that, also she made some like trans comments that she later ended up walking back and apologising for. Uh-huh. Uh, she's been anti-vax and anti-mask, but again like reposts and and whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, but also to be fair, she has supported like Black Lives Matters before. She's raised money for various charities and things like that. She's not a wholly terrible person, but at the same time, like you work for a company and there's a like they have a series of rules and guidelines that you have to abide by, yeah. just like we do, Mason. Huh. And I, dog. Haven't, I haven't broken any yet. <laughs> Not yet. Huh. Well, neither have I, though. Yeah. We can both fire each other at any minute. Okay. We're just waiting to see who will do That's it right. first. So, yeah, to me, this feels more like a contract violation than like... Yeah. Because it's a private organisation. Here's the thing, though. Or public, yeah. Maybe it's publicly listed. Whatever, but. My guess would be that... I mean, it, I'm sure it, it... My guess would be it's, it's, a, it's a contract violation mm. and a lot of... There's probably a lot of stuff where people do you know, violate their contract in a small way or they say something stupid or whatever and people go and the people, you know, the people up upstairs are like, yeah, but people still like them, so whatever. Yeah, But I I would imagine something she said this week specifically annoyed uh, like a a very much a higher up. Yeah. Because the the thing, the the statement that Disney said, 
you said it earlier, was like mm. what she said was abhorrent. Yes. Which is like that's kind of a PR kiss of death. Yeah. Like no, normally it says – normally it will say something like – um, what this person put on their social media it does is, not reflect it, the yeah, it does not align yeah. with our interests or whatever. Yeah. But you know, good luck with future projects or whatever. Yeah. But to say that, mm. you know, I my my guess is that word got up to somebody up the top who was like, I saw rumors that there was John Favreau as well was involved because he's Jewish. But again, that's like these are rumors. We don't know. I'm, I'm sure it didn't. If I, I don't think it came from one person, I yeah, think it right. was a, it was a group decision. Yeah, and I they imagine. went. This is. Bad for us. Yeah, and PR, we can't PR, PR a show around yeah. this person. Yeah, and you know what? I think it is a shame because I liked her in the show. Like genuinely, I thought she was a good character and a yeah. good inclusion. And you know, like even the last episode she was in, you know, mm-hmm. there was a good moment where they. She always the said ship. what you were thinking. She always said exactly what I was thinking. But the strange thing is, as well, that I find is a lot of the people who are defending her now, which of course you have your right to do, and I'm not, I'm not against that. Do whatever you want. Just fucking don't tell me about it every goddamn day. <laughs> but that. A lot of people were originally like, oh, she's just a Mary Sue. She's just showed up to be stronger than the Mandalorian and beat him up and whatever. But then when they see that maybe some of the views align with maybe what some people think, that's been flipped around. And there's examples of like, people tweeting like against her and uh-huh. now coming back and being around like cancel culture's gone crazy and Catholic. I wonder Kelly, how many blah, of those blah, blah, people, blah. and we don't have this information here, but I wonder how many of those people were like, get rid of Kelly Marie Tran because of- I'm sure it's all in the same yeah. <laughs> sphere. In a way. But in a way, in a way though, she's also uh, bounced back because she's working with Ben Shapiro to develop and produce a movie to, they're talking about it's a, it's a big like, we can't cancel us because we're, we're back or whatever. She said, she's only just begun to use my voice, which is now freer than ever before, and I want to inspire others to do the same. Um, sorry, I hope to inspire, inspire others to do the same. They can't cancel us if we don't let them. So there you go. Work with that very normal man. And let's <laughs> go on. <laughs> just a real rational being, do you know what I mean? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> let's move on to uh, other casting news. Mm-hmm. Uh, speaking of uh, The Mandalorian, Pedro Pascal yeah. has been cast as Joel. In The Last of Us. Yeah. You In fact, Joel and Ellie streak. are both uh, Game of Thrones They alums, are, right? because uh, Bella Ramsey is playing Ellie, who played the little um, the little angry girl. Remember uh, her? Yes, Just, I do. So that's excellent casting all around. Yeah, yeah. that's cool. Mm. Could this be a good one? I mean, it's a show. Did we talk about Borderlands? Oh, the, we, we can't. Cast- so it's Jack Black. Uh, Jamie Lee Kate Curtis. Kate Blanchett. Kate Blanchett. And was, it, was that the three that was this yeah, week? I think so, yeah. And I think Kevin Hart's in it. Huh. Yeah, but that was a prior announcement. Uh, I don't know anything about that series. So, like, when I see a bit of news, I, I think I just go, I don't know that. And I don't yeah. put a bit. <laughs> it's very popular, I wonder, isn't it? Yeah, I wonder, the, what I would be wondering about Borderlands is, are they going to do it cell shaded style? That's really all I know about Borderlands. Yeah, right, it's got yeah. that kind because of, you know you'll see somebody cosplaying mm. as one of the Borderlands characters, and they've kind of got and that. They do all the uh, kind of, that kind of like ink. It, it's like their comic book characters, like they're yeah. kind of like they've got that cell shaded inked look. Do you think they could kind of do that aesthetic yes. in a more realistic way on the uh, yes on Claptrap, which might be the name of the robot? Claptrap is a robot in that series, I, I believe. No, Borderlands. Have you played Borderlands one or two, or the expansion, or the whatever the other things that they've done? No. Yeah, cool. Me neither. <laughs> But uh, it's a good world that people enjoy. Yeah, that's been right. Been around for a while now, so yeah, why not? Maybe we'll get another good one. Speaking of, um, imagine if we got two video game movies in a year that were well, good. Well, The Last of Us is a show. It's a HBO premium series. Ah, so it's not TV. It's HBO. No, so you right. well, you were wrong, also. No, I I knew it wasn't. You were wrong. Huh? I was right. I just didn't say what I, I just because we moved on. to I'm ready to send trap. an email to HR, James. You Please, you could you be fired this episode. <laughs> also, I'm HR. I think so. Oh, that, yeah. okay, right. <laughs> Well, you got to follow the rules, though, don't you? You do. That's how it works. Yeah. By the way, you're fired. Oh, man. <laughs> yes, got him. We should start a new podcast, though. Yeah. It's, I've, Free I've, of cancel I forgot culture. that in my contract you can fire me while I'm taking a drink or something. <laughs> and it's only just occurred to me that's why you offer me a drink every week because <laughs> you'll have numerous that's right, opportunities. opportunities every episode. Yeah. Uh, we also got the announcement of Sonic 2 in April of 2022. Yeah. You saw that trailer? I mean, trailers stretching it a lot. Yeah, I mean, sure. Was, oh, yeah, whatever. Unless it was. I saw one that was different, but it was there was literally nothing, right? Yes, I've written okay, here great. Jason Momoa for Tails, but apparently he's Knuckles. And again, it's going to be one of those things where I correct this document that I'll never look at again. <laughs> sure. So there you go. What do you think of that, Mason? Um, I think that's important for your mental health that you correct the document. I meant the uh, the casting. Oh, I don't <laughs> care about it. <laughs> okay, good. Deadline are reporting that, that uh, Zowie Ashton uh, is going to be the main villain in Captain Marvel. You might not know her from Velvet Buzzsaw, which I haven't seen, but I know her from Fresh Meat. She's one of the housemates. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. So there you go. Cool. So uh, going up against 
various Captain Marvels or Ms. Marvels in that movie Maybe that they're we doing. Don't know yet, yeah. I think we're doing. I think they're going to do a Monica Rambo, Ms. Marvel, and Captain Marvel team up. Oh, I okay. believe. Cool. Uh, as far as I know, but we, I, I think they got to do the Ms. Marvel series first, and I'm pretty sure they're going to reveal more Monica Rambo stuff in. Uh, yeah. The coming weeks. Things are hotting up. Stay tuned every Friday to that show. And then our recaps. Mm. Mm. <laughs> oh, my God. I mean, you could just watch our recaps if you want. Yeah, you don't have to watch the show. If you want to we be thoroughly it. confused. Collings bangs out a, a crazy edit for that. I don't know how he does it. Yeah. He should ease up on the edit. I've told him. I'm like, these are too complex. But he's too dedicated to good editing. I can't stop him. Mm. I should fire him. I mean, you have that power. <laughs> yeah. What if he emails? But he HR never takes though. a drink. That's true. You know yeah, I mean? that's true. He's never, yeah. never done that. Yeah. Uh, we got our first look at the Joker. Well, second look because he's in it. The, so <laughs> this is the Justice League Snyder yes. Cut Joker. So, so um, was this filmed before Suicide Squad? No, this was new. This he, is new. He, knew, he always wanted to do it and he never did. So this isn't. This is like all things in Justice League. This movie. So this isn't Snyder's original footage from prior to Justice League, the one that we got in theaters, which was redirected by Joss Whedon, et cetera. No. This is, this is new stuff. Yes. For a new nightmare sequence? I don't know, because this is what he got here. Um, a remnant of his escapes into the wild when the world fell, so I guess he has tons of badges. Those are his trophies. <laughs> He's got a look. Have you seen his look? Yes, I have. Very cool. It's very cool. It's, it's no less tattoo. tattoo. Yeah. yeah. He might have the rest of his tattoos. When they were like, why doesn't he have a tattoo? He's like, I don't know. Something happened. I don't know. Like, well, <laughs> you, could, you could make something up. Yep. That's right. <laughs> That's fine. I, yeah. I don't care. He doesn't have them. Uh, the cool thing about this scene is that the Joker talking directly to Batman about Batman. Oh. It's Joker analyzing Batman about who he is and what he is. It's just his critique of the Nolan Batman movies. <laughs> just. I didn't feel like it brought enough, uh, you know, kind of unworldly elements into it, but he's doing it in his Joker voice. Ah, uh, yeah. Yes. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh. How did he escape that bomb at the end? Uh, that's the thing. I've, how did he get back into Gotham? How, I don't understand. You can't fix a back. I mean, where, 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 the where was that pit? I mean, was it, is it in America or is it a different? Because did he get on a plane? We how had cable he... television. That's the thing I felt fans did from the DC universe. That is to say that Jared Leto Joker and the Ben Affleck Batmans, they never really got together. It seems uncool to me that they would make it all the way through this incarnation of Batman and Joker without seeing them come together. And the scene also explains why Bruce has the Joker card taped to his gun that you see in Batman v Superman, colon, Dawn of Justice. He what? Brackets 2016. I don't remember that at all. Yeah, he's got a Joker card on his gun. I bet he just snatches it off him and puts it in the gun. A gun. He's got a gun in the future sequence. I mean, he's got a gun a lot of times in those yeah, movies. Yeah, I was, I was <laughs> saying. Yeah, which of the many? I times think you mean gun. which gun? Yeah. yeah, I'm like, is the on all the? Is there a gun on? Is there a card on any of the guns in the Batmobile? Mm. I couldn't remember. I put this in last minute, but I wanted to talk about it because he was asked about the dead rat he sent to Margot Robbie. Jared, Jared later. Yes. Okay. So um, this is what he said. First of all, this was confirmed by Viola Davis in the press junket at the time. He said, uh, yeah, he sent Margot Robbie a black rat that was still alive in a box, and she screamed, but then she kept it. And this is what he said recently. Okay. I never gave Margot Robbie a dead rat. That's not true. I actually gave her. There is a pause there. I found this place in Toronto that had great vegan cinnamon buns. And, <laughs> and that was a very common thing. I mean, I could see how you could confuse the two. Huh. Yeah. Can you Google vegan cinnamon roll just quickly? Cinnamon buns. Oh, yeah. Right, 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 sure. Right. We should do Toronto to see if this is real. I bet it is. Yeah, they, they exist. They just look the same. Like a rat. Like no, a dead not rat. not at all. Not, not even close. Huh. There's one called Cineholic. Okay. Uh, it's, it's on Danforth Road. They've got Bunner's Bake Shop on Augusta Avenue. They've got Almond Butterfly. Is there, is there like... Is there like... In Harbord Street. Okay. Is there like Edgy Bakery? No, there's not. There's uh, rat-shaped cinnamon buns bakery. That's but yeah. that closed in 2015. Oh, but that's, that's when probably... they filmed the movie because <gasps> it came out in 2016. But they nice. would have had to have Mate, filmed. It. Oh, we've nailed it. We've done some detective work, like Batman. Like would. Batman would and has. Mm. Imagine if the Joker told Batman about Batman. I can't wait. Uh, speaking <laughs> of, we are getting a Justice League. That's going to blow Batman's mind. He's going to be he like, he I've never had someone. Reflect on my side. He psyche. thinks he knows his own head. Yeah. But then the Joker gets in his head. It's like. Do you think if it was you, just be like, shut up? Yeah. <laughs> shut up. You don't know. Yeah. Or you do, but shut up. You've made poor choices. <laughs> Look at your weird head. I'd, that's what I'd say. <laughs> so there is a Justice League trailer. We, we've seen the snippets at the time of recording this. I'm going like, to do a you know trailer what? breakdown. You're bloody mad, you are. You've had a. Yeah, you're as mad as a bloody cut snake, mate. <laughs> but, um, here's. 
Yeah, so we've seen snippets. You might want to consider, Joker, Ooh. that your opinion of me is coloured by the fact that you are severely <laughs> damaged. You've been jokerized. You've been jokerized, <laughs> and that impairs your judgment, in my opinion. That's right. And I mean, you can have your own truth, but I feel, mm. you know, because you have to say I feel. Yeah. You know, it's important. Yeah, exactly, yeah. I just say shut up. Shut up. Nice. Just shut up. Nice. Uh, so, yeah, from what we've seen, there's the big tank from the Dark Knight Returns. The comic book, yes. Yeah, it's mm-hmm. got the big you know, thing on the front. And is that going to be in the nightmare sequence? I don't think so. Oh. I don't know, though. And mm. we also see Granny Goodness. Uh-huh. It's been pointed out. So, yeah, we'll see, won't Maybe we? Maybe she makes the cinnamon buns. Maybe she does, the rat cinnamon buns. The other thing is uh, there's going to be a 10-minute... Um, Dance d- inter- number. Yes, like Ghostbusters. No, the one they cut out of Ghostbusters, they're mm-hmm. going to put it in this. Yes. No, in the middle. Um, so it's because it's a four-hour movie for some reason. They're going to put it in the middle. So you can, they're going An to play, yes. Yeah, they're going to play some epic music, which you can sit around for, or you can do another thing, which is what I will do. I will leave. Yeah, cool. Yeah. So are you excited for that? Yeah. They should do it like uh, in a video game when you leave the controls. You know, those mm. the, from the, like the 90s, if you leave the controls long enough, just Batman just starts scratching his no, head. No, 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 no. Look, this is how you do it. Yes. It would be Jason Momoa because he would because it's like in Knuckles if you're playing Sonic. Oh, so yeah. I feel like Sonic revolutionised that. Mm. You know, so you do Jason Momoa's Aquaman, just go on looking at his watch and go, on, my man, you got <laughs> nine minutes, my man. Nice. <laughs> he gets increasingly agitated. He's like, you only got two minutes, my man. <laughs> Zip it up, my man. You, my you, man. You, you know, that's it. What do you think of the intermission? I love it. I think it's such a good idea for a four-hour movie. Yeah, I don't mind it. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. that's all I'm saying. Yeah. Uh, so we were going to do longest movies this week, but then we went, nah, because this is a long movie. And what did you say? <laughs> we probably haven't seen most of them. Well, I looked at it and, I, and it, yeah. it's, the, it's a lot of Ben-Hur and a lot of I've seen that. You know, movies like Ben-Hur. And I'm like, oof. Like that Egypt one, whatever. <laughs> yep. Yeah. What's that one with Charlton Heston? The Moses. We talked about it recently with Andy and Al. Uh, but the Bible. The Bible, that's right. That's a long one. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Um, so, but no, we decided to talk about members of the Justice League. We're yeah. going to go through, because you've got your core ones, mm-hmm. which mm-hmm. we'll see in this Justice League movie, but there's some other ones we're going to talk about, some good, some bad, and we want to decide whether or not they're going to show up in a Justice League movie. But that being said, the answer is no, because they're never going to make another Justice League. I don't think League. so. Oh, they will eventually. They're but I, going to. They will, but what they're going to do, they're going to trial them out, because we're going to be getting like Hawkman in Black Adam. And yep. like Superman in Shazam, maybe, yeah. and whatever Batman's doing, I don't know. You don't think, James, that they're gonna? Because now they're, they're, the the hashtag has transformed from release the Snyder Cut to restore the Snyderverse or something like that. Right. So this isn't going to end. So what I'm thinking is they're gonna they're gonna be like, we're gonna we want a Justice League two. Yes. That is that is a follow up to J- Zack Snyder's Justice League. Mm. So we're gonna see we're gonna see more Justice Leagues. Yeah. Okay. For sure. I know you're right. But, okay, so let's determine then whether or not we think they'll show up. Okay, so you've great. got obviously your Supermans, your Batmans, your Wonder Woman, the Flash, depending on what version of the Flash. I think they're going to show up. I agree. Green Lantern, normally Hal Jordan, but more re- recently like a Jon Stewart. And by more recently, I mean in the last 25 years. <laughs> uh, Aquaman and Martian Manhunter, who we will see in Confirmed. this next movie. So apparently a mocap situation. Mm. So are you excited for that? I'm excited to see his transmogrification process. Do you think they're not going to do it? His Martian transmogrification. No, I think it's going to be a wiggly, 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 wiggly. I, mean, I don't think it's going to be just. I don't think it's going to be a mere wiggly, 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 James. Mm, okay. I think they're going to go all out and all in. Well, yeah, I bet they would, won't they? Yeah. Do you think we're going to get a new lanyard if if we can get to a screening? Mm, I hope so. Should I wear my old one? Yes, you definitely should. <laughs> I've yeah. got yours too. Do we you? can both wear them. Yeah, okay, let's both wear them to the to the premiere of this. Yeah. And then during the intermission, we can wave them about and be like, we were here, we were at the OG These screening. are vintage. These, are, These vintage. are actually vintage. You know how sneakers are worth something? This isn't. But <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Yeah, I'm going to wear mine. What else we got here? I, I reckon, look, we, we should go through this list. We should figure out whether they're going to be in an, in the another Justice League movie, yeah. which, 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 which is inevitable, and also whether or not Zack Snyder would respect this character. I like that. Or what they, what he would transform it into. Mm, a transmogrification. Yeah, wiggly, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wiggly, 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 wiggly A, a bit of a wiggly, wiggly situation. We are just going off Wikipedia because it's the most comprehensive list because we did look up like weirdest characters, worst characters, but it's, I just want everything. Okay. So, and we just pick We're the ones that we We're going to be at this for want. a while. No, we don't have to pick them all. It's okay, like, great. Oh, do I have anything to say about Red Tornado? Not really. But Green Arrow, what do you think about that? He's, he's Hawkeye for uh, DC. Yes. Do you think they just, what would what else would you do to him? Um, that they haven't done. 
I think Zack Snyder would have him like fire syringes, mm. you know, filled with drugs and sadness. Oh my goodness! Yeah, like the scarecrow. Mm. There's a fucking mosquito again. I killed the first one. There's another one back in the habit, Mason. Yeah. Sorry, go on. Um, so black suit, black to grey suit. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> with a tinge of green on um, the on the mask. That's too much green, I think. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Maybe green underpants. We don't even see him. Yeah, I think mm. so. Okay, fair enough. Also, I think it's hard to kind of do someone like Green Arrow because he kicked off the uh, the CW verse. That's right. You'd have to really, you'd have to depart with it in many a way. And you, there's 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 very stylistically there's very little to make him more in line with the Snyder verse. I think because I'm thinking about what kind of beard he'd have. Well, that's the thing because <laughs> they took that off for uh, you yeah. know, the CW Arrow mm. and gave him kind of you know like a crew cut kind of yeah. like a maybe you bring that back then. There's no way Snyder would agree to like a like a little like Robin an Errol, beard. Errol Flynn mustache yeah, beard combination. I well, speaking of, we did a commentary of Thor. It's out this week, isn't it? Oh, that's right. There's a little Errol, Errol, Errol Flynn man in that one, isn't there's there? A little Errol Flynn in all of us, James. Not me. No, not me. He <laughs> seems like a terrible human being all around. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I would have liked to have seen that Supermax movie, which was him in prison. Remember that? We maybe it'll just it. maybe there'll just be some cutaways to him in prison. Oh man, I hate being in prison. Yeah. I don't even have my bows and arrows. I used to be Green Arrow. Now I'm, I'm not going to show you though. No, said I'm just going to get beaten up in a cell. I'm going to have a, sad. I'm going to have a flashback in several years when they come back and <laughs> remake this movie or whatever. Uh, the Atom mm-hmm. again around a lot. I don't know if I want to see the Atom. If I did, I want to see like not the mechanical suit Atom. I want to see the spandexy Atom. You know what mm. I mean? It's got yeah, the yeah. Spand- I think what also the issue here for for a number of these, uh, as you said with Green Arrow, mm. is that. Marvel have the first move advantage in that a lot of Marvel and DC, Marvel and DC have both had very similar characters over the years. Like it's sometimes it's been a competition to be like, yeah. well, we'll have a shrink guy, we'll have an arrow guy, and regardless of who created them first in the comic books, usually DC, <laughs> usually, oh yeah, usually DC. Uh, Marvel have had a huge head start and they've yep. put them all in. All they've, in. they've put all their shrink, the shrinky guys, and all the arrow guys, and they've put them in there. So anything that DC puts out there is going to be seen as, mm. is this going to be the poor man's Hawkeye? Is yeah. this going to be the poor man's uh, Ant-Man? Exactly. As- assorted? Assorted, yeah. But here's one that uh, here's one that Marvel do not have, a Hawkman. They don't have a Hawkman. No, they do. Didn't they cast him? Hawkman? Yeah, they cast um dude from Black Mirror. Wasn't I'm it? saying Marvel doesn't have a Hawkman. Oh, sorry, yeah. Yes. Yeah, sorry, but they have cast him. Uh-huh. Um, yes. No, they don't. Do they have? They don't even. They. they I guess the closest thing would be Thor, <laughs> because of winged helmets. Winged helmets, but also like ancient being. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What's the actor's name? No, not Hawk. Not Hawkeye. <laughs> it's like, do you mean Hawkeye? No, no. I don't. Mm. No one ever means Hawkeye. Uh, yeah, Aldous Hodge. Yeah. Oh. He's from like Black Mirror. He was in The Invisible Man. Um, he's a cop in Invisible Man. Ah. Yeah. So there you go. I think that's great casting. So what would you think about somebody like an elongated man then? Because we haven't had a stretchy boy in a while, have That's we? true, but we did have an elongated man in the Flash TV series. Yeah, but who cares? And that guy got cancelled. <laughs> he, oh, conse- yeah, so he, co- he got consequence cultured. He did. So Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, what do you think that is? Um, oh, we should mention that. Well, I but think the race, this... here's the thing, though. The race is on for a stretchy guy. That's what I mean. Because the Fantastic Four yeah. will, it will invariably be... Uh, mm. Made by Marvel sooner rather than later, so they get got to get that stretchy boy in first. I just want to say also, a lot of times when people get cancelled for something, depending on the severity, because if it's bad, then you know, fuck off forever. Mm-hmm. There should be a road back for people. Oh yeah, for sure. I mean, that doesn't mean that everybody has to accept them and invite them back into everything, but yeah, yeah. it's good to have a road back. And I was kind of hoping Gina Carano would take that, but it seems the opposite. Anyway, let's keep going. All right. <laughs> so <laughs> once your bloody bloody uh, bloody lectures over, thank you. I appreciate yeah. that. Um, yeah, so I guess that would mean Hawkgirl as well, which may have also been cast. But what about Zatanna? Oh, yeah. Magical outfits, top hats, little <laughs> stick with yeah. the white tip. Mm-hmm. Little, Yeah, what about that? Uh, I reckon they're going to change her to, you know, black trench coat. Yep. <laughs> That's okay. it, just naked but for a black trench black coat. Black trench coat gun. Yeah. <laughs> That's right, yep. <laughs> Regular gun. No, I think that would be a good one to do as like an actual stage magician who's really magic. Yeah. I know there's obviously shades of Doctor Strange in that, but Doctor uh-huh. Strange is more kind of like weird ornate like furniture and capes and whatever. <laughs> you know what I mean? He's yes. like that kind of dude. He's got a dresser that could probably beat you up. Yeah. And she probably has that too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But she just looks like a stage magician. James, are you pitching a Franco Cotso movie? <laughs> Franco Cotso being the famous... Uh, furniture magnate in Melbourne. Grand sales and all that. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Brunswick and Footerscray. Mm. 
Who do you think is going to do elongated man first, though? I've, I've meant a stretchy to man. Yeah, I think definitely it's going to be. Uh, well, they've announced Fantastic Four. In I Marvel. think it's going to be Marvel first because I don't think. I mean, they, they if they're going to put him in, if they're going to put him in a DC movie, that's not going to blow any minds, is it? A stretchy no. guy. It depends what they do with him. They uh, he he gets a beer from the other room. That's rad. Pretty rad, right? Wait, wait, wait. wait. Is it ice cold? Yeah. Then yes, that's rad. That's very rad, right? Is it a Han light? Could be a Han light. That's not rad then. Oh, okay. (laughs) It's all American? It's all American. It's a Pabst Blue Ribbon. Okay, that's fine, I guess. It always sounds like an ice cream to me because we have a Blue Ribbon ice cream here, don't we? Yeah, 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 yeah. This is one I want to see again, Steel. And this is why I'm kind of like, I wish they did Death of Superman properly because yep. then we could have got the four Supermen of the Apocalypse. Oh, my God, yes. Yeah, and now we're never going to get that probably, maybe. I think, or... Imagine if you just paused and you didn't do Justice League and you did the four Superman movie in the middle mm-hmm. and then you build up his return and not just like we zapped him with a box, which is probably not going to be <laughs> dissimilar from what they end up doing. I'm yeah. sure it will be slightly different, but uh-huh. it's still going to be like the next movie. Yeah, yeah, I... That's the thing, I, you know... Were Zack Snyder not, you know, telegraphing his every move on Vero, yes. revealing literally everything that's going to be in this thing, I would say, oh, maybe they maybe they'd put the cyborg Superman in. Maybe they'd put yeah. in, uh, you know, the Eradicator or something. But we would know by now because he, he would put it on. He would never put Superboy in, though. No. Just maybe to kill him. Yeah, probably. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. So, yeah, I'd love to see Steel. Like a proper version. Yeah, yeah. Given the hammer and the flying boots and all that shit. Yeah. I and it. I think, you know, the comparisons could be made to Iron Man, but I think if you Yeah, but he's not but he's more working man as well. No, that's true. Yeah. I mean he's got a lot of doctorates, but then you know. Yeah, but he's a construction dude, isn't he? <laughs> he's also a construction dude. He's a regular blue collar joke. Regu- he's a Paps, Paps blue, to blue ribbon. He's a blue ribbon ice cream fellow. Exactly, yeah. yeah. But I think if you and I think sort of the most effective uses of steel is you don't show like you know, you don't you don't go into the suit and show the heads up display and the, no. you know, the, the 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 technology of it. You just show him as more of an epic kind of like a statuesque, like a layer, like a like does a, the mask flip up and he goes, "What up, dog?" <laughs> <laughs> it's his catchphrase. That's that would be more Iron Man's catchphrase. It would be, wouldn't it? Yeah. If people would be like, "That's not very cool on you, Iron Man." It'd be like, "Can you believe this?" <laughs> if people would be like, "It's crazy." It's crazy what's happening at this airport. But yeah, no, steel would be great. It would it would be tremendous to see. Would you, would you want to less like the suit clunks around him and more he has to kind of put it on? Ah, uh, how does that suit go on? I don't actually remember. It's, it's an armor, but it's not like an Iron Man. What is sort of Iron Man? Mm-hmm. It enhances his strength, right? Yes, correct. And does other bits and bobs. Yes, but it's not like I don't know. How does he get in it? That's my I point. Know. I don't think I've ever seen him get in it. Me neither. Let's ask him next time he's in a movie. The steel would be darker if it was a Zack Snyder. It would be like a like a very dark grey metal. Do you think so? Yes. Huh. Or more well, cyborgs are more shiny metal, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Mm-hmm. But then you can't do like a cyborg, you know, looking dude. Uh huh. Because they'd both be shiny metal men. That's true. More rivets. It'd be all rivets. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. It's a real shame we're not getting. It is a shame because at this point, like they've been going long enough that at this point, I would hope to have seen a Supergirl by yeah. by now. Or uh, Steel, Superboy. Another Doomsday. And, yep, second, second Doomsday. Second Doomsday. Oh, my God, it's Doomsday, and it's the real one this time, they'd say. Yeah, and he's going to kill Superman again, probably. <laughs> yeah. Well, speaking of um, Iron Man, Blue Beetle's Iron Man-esque, isn't he? Some of them are, yeah. Some of them are. What do you mean by that, Mason? Because there's been more than one Blue Beetle. Yes, but what do you mean by which ones are more Iron Man and which one aren't? Well, mm. uh, the, the one that I... Uh, read when I was a kid was Ted Cord, and he's more of a um, a nerd. He's more of a nerd, yeah. Yeah. Uh huh. Mm. Whereas uh, Jaime Reyes is more of a like a like an Iron Man kind of suit, yeah. Yeah, right. Is he a nerd? I think he's also a nerd. Yeah. There's too many nerds in comic books. <laughs> Where's can we just have a cool guy who's like, "What up, dog?" Well, you, know you think he'd probably boost a gold? Who was you know? I, I I would have loved to I see a Blue Beetle to Booster see Gold Booster team up. Go- well, aren't they maybe making that movie? No. I think we've maybe talked about it. Blue and Gold it was yeah, maybe black, the yeah, working title. Yeah. I don't know. I always, I always think Black and Gold, the uh How off-brand. have they made so few of these movies? I don't understand. It's kind of crazy. They made a thousand Marvel movies in the last ten years. Yeah. There's been nothing but Marvel movies. Yeah. 
What are you doing? I want to see these. It's fascinating. Yeah. I, you know, I, I don't, James, I don't want to see any of these characters. What I want to see is a behind-the-scenes documentary <laughs> and why they haven't made any DC, mar- DC movies. Because they think all the money's decade. in Batman. That's why. Yeah. And that's why we've only seen one Superman movie and these sp- you know, and, and team movies. Mm. And the only reason they made another Wonder Woman is because the first one made money and they didn't understand why. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. But here's one we're getting. Okay. Because we are get. Oh, I had it and I've lost it. God damn it, forever. You're talking about Shazam. No, I can, Black we, can, we can talk about Shazam, yeah. So he's getting a movie, isn't he? Mm-hmm. Um, and they'll work him into the Justice League. Did you hear Black Adam is now called Shazadam or something like that? That cannot be they correct. They changed it in the comics. Yeah, I'm pretty oh, sure. Oh, I see. Right, right, right. Let me check. To what end? To make him more within the Captain Marvel Shazam family? Is that what? Shazadam. Yeah. <laughs> Shazadam. Yeah, that works. Just rolls off the tongue. I don't like it. Shazadam. I don't like Here's it. One, this is one I was going to say. Go on. Because we're getting this in a new Gods movie. We're getting Mr. Miracle, uh-huh. a.k.a. Scott Free, mm-hmm. which or ho- hopefully means we're also getting Big Barter, hopefully. Yeah. Uh-huh. And Gina Carano would have been a that great She would have been a great Big Barter. Maybe they'll snap her up. Maybe DC will snap her up. Yeah, maybe Snyder they will. would snap her up after this. I think he might, yeah. Yeah. Uh, but I don't think he's – I don't know what the chance are of him doing another DC movie anyway. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But – um. Him, uh, we'll see. I reckon if it does really well, then and the fan campaigns, yeah. et cetera, then maybe. But again, if they do the Eternals first, mm. it's a kind of. I mean, and they're they're not particularly similar. No, but on a surface level, it's you know, godlike beings from another world. Yep, yep. People will be like, oh, they're just trying to get. That's right. They're trying to get whatever, whatever, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, yeah. yeah. But I love those characters. Mm. And again, so like, even even if we don't see him in a Justice League movie, they are still build. They are building this universe. It is happening. Yeah. It's just that I don't know when or why or how or if mm. or when. <laughs> That's what I think. Yeah. Would you love to see Or a, why. Or if. Yeah. And how. Mm, and how. There's so many Hawkman and Hawkwomans. Yeah, what about a Dr. Fate? He turns up with a big bell on his head and he's like, Yeah, no, Hello. I, I, I'm going to say chances are slim to none just because he's another magic user with Doctor in his name, a la Doctor Strange. Yeah. And people will be like... Wow, this is this is Doctor are, Strange are, with a bell on his be, head. Yeah, they'll be like, "You are grasping at straws with Doctor Strange with I a bell on his Doctor head." I love Doctor Fate, though. Mm-hmm. By love, I mean uh, when he shows up, I'm like, "Oh, he's about to say something, something <laughs> about the future." What's he gonna say? I think, if anything, they would probably put if they if they want an enigmatic man to show up and be like, "Dead man, uh, or Dead man, Light? or Phantom Stranger." Okay, who's sure. One of those yeah. guys who shows up with a cloak and a hat, and he's like, "Grim, Guess what? grim portents for the future, Superman." Did you not? I normally don't interfere, but, but as always, t- I'm interfering. <laughs> Yeah. Mm-hmm. What about Orion? Nah. Of the New Gods? Sure. I mean, we'll see that in New Gods, I guess. Mm, yes. There's one called Tasmanian Devil. I'm unfamiliar with Tasmanian Devil. What the fuck is this? Open it up and tell, tell us all about like Tasmanian Devil. It just looks like a big Devil. Tasmanian Devil. Okay. Um, so he's unrelated to the Looney Tunes character. Okay. He first appeared in 1986. <laughs> okay. He's a born metahuman with the ability to turn into a large and intelligent Tasmanian Devil, similar to a werewolf. So he's a werewolf. Got it. Great. Is he Australian? I want to know all about oh, this guy. Oh, okay. Um, because we've on, on previous on a previous episode we have talked about the Marvel villain, the kangaroo. Yes. Who of course, is not Australian, but went to Australia and learned how to leap from the kangaroos. I do not like that at all. So, is this guy Australian or is he stealing our culture? Let's find out. So, his real name is uh, blah, 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 blah. what's his name? Hugh Dawkins. Great and uh, great, huge Dawkins. <laughs> great work. You've really. They are, so it says they are preparing the Justice League Australian embassy. So I think he is Australian. Okay. So, yeah. Mm. Or he's not. Who cares? Wow. There you go. That, was, that one was too high on the list and I do not like it. What about Animal Man? Wait, so he was in the Justice League, Tasmanian Australian, Devil. Apparently. Wow. Or he's in the, hang on, Justice League International. Okay, the joke count? Justice League. No, there's some good ones in here. There's Fire and Ice. There's Red Rocket number four and Rocket Red, no, sorry, Rocket Red number four and uh-huh. number seven. There's Captain Atom. Some names here. How um, Guy Gardner, Green Lantern. Yeah, yeah. How how long do you think this? How many movies do you think it'll be before they release a Justice League Antarctica movie? Because as a, as a kid, <laughs> do they, do they I don't have a, the... I don't have a lot of my old comics from when I, when I was a kid. But one that I did keep there was a it was a Justice League. Uh, I think it was a Justice League International Annual mm. that featured Justice League Antarctica, and it was basically a bunch of losers. Yeah, that were that were sort of f- former villains who were offered the opportunity to ally the Suicide Squad to like reform themselves, yeah, and become the Justice League Antarctica, and they fought a bunch of penguins. 
Yeah, like right. killer penguins. Okay. Um, It'd be cool if they fought all the Freezemen. There's a bunch of Freezemen. Like a Captain Cold. And the other ones. Sure. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's Mr. Freeze. There's uh, Dr. <laughs> yes. Freeze. Yes. There's Freezy Freezo. There's the fridge. That's just a fridge. Um, <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't freeze. <laughs> He's just, he keeps things cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. What else we got here? Well, That's I said, a great tagline, though, James. He can get his own solo movie. He doesn't freeze, but he keeps things cool. Keeps things cool, yeah. What about, yeah, sorry, Animal Man. Yeah, yeah I think, okay. I like Animal Man. Uh, so he got his powers from aliens, but he didn't, did he? Well, he got his powers because he's fictional. That's the... Shut up, Mason. No, but here's Shut the thing, up. James. He's aware he's fictional. Oh, he's one of those That's guys. what I'm talking about. Oh, I thought yeah. you were going to do that for all of these from now on. Oh. <laughs> no, but he's not in the new 52, wasn't he? Because it wasn't it. He thought it was aliens, but it actually was like the Earth gave them to him or whatever. Yes, like weird animal spirits or something. It was a good run. Mm. His dead son in it was grim. Why would they bring in Animal Man? Because it's funny. Yeah, I know it's funny. They're all <laughs> James. They're all funny and ridiculous. But would they? What would the? Would it be like an anim, Would it be a movie about animal rights, or would it be a movie about mm. vegetarianism? Sure. You know, I I'd, I'd want to take like a serious run at it. Because I think he's good. Like, I think he's a genuinely good character. Uh You do some Swamp Thing stuff. They're always the red and the green teaming up, aren't they? That's true. So I'm just reading the Justice League Antarctica members here. Do you mind if I give them a list them off? So Major Disaster. Yep. Gnort. Um, (laughs) Gnort's a Green Lantern, but he looks like a dog. (laughs) Yeah. Multi-Man. Yep. um, Every time he dies, he comes back with a different superpower and he's really depressed. Cool. Yeah. Maybe he'll come back with a cure for his depression. No, never does. Oh. Big Sir. He's really big and dumb. Okay. Clue Master. Uh, he's like a third rate The Riddler. Gotcha. And his daughter is Spoiler, who became Robin briefly. Okay. Yeah. Question mark mask? No. No, Spoiler? just like a bandana. Okay. Like a, like an orange suit. Isn't there other spoilers? No, just the one. Great. Uh, Clock King. Yeah. Uh, very timely. Yep. The, the, the Mighty Bruce. It says our real name, Bruce Presumably. He's just a guy, if I remember correctly. Okay. Yep. And Scarlet Skier. Yep. What do you think of that? I would love to see. This is just. But actually, that's the thing. Like, the, if if they would. if And I don't want to just harp on DC and Warner Brothers. But if they That'd had made. Cool. I'd definitely watch If they that. had made 20 movies by now. Yeah. And it's very easy for me to say, why don't you just make 20 movies? But Marvel right. did it. Yeah. Um, by this point. We would be well primed for a comedic Justice League movie. Totally. Just a stupid one. And they're like, hey, this one's in Antarctica. The mighty Bruce is in it. You love uh, Ambush Bug, don't you? I do. And he, is, he is also aware that he is uh, fictional. Cool. What's Red Arrow? Oh, that's, uh, is that Speedy? Yes, it is. Okay, yeah, fair enough. We haven't talked about Supergirl. Go on. Uh, she says she's in the Cry for Justice team, an old miniseries, I should uh-huh. say. Yeah, I, what, do something with her. Put a, I mean, she's on TV or was. Yeah. Do a do a Birds of Prey sequel. Yeah. They won't, but no. they could. Or do a, just to do a Supergirl or Superwoman movie, I guess. I don't know. Do something. <laughs> do something, Mason, for once. What about some other of the some more of the Bat family then? Like if you put in a Robin or a Bat Girl or a Be nice, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah. Someone else. Do you know what I mean? Uh, Make something else happen. Imagine making something else happen. I, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't even dare, James. <laughs> which, if you were going to see a Robin, which one would would you want it to be? If I wanted to see a Robin, mm-hmm. and you do, I, th- I think I just want Nightwing. Like start yeah. there and then just branch out. Because he's not normally in the Justice League, though, is he? No, he's normally in the Titans. Teen Titans, Teen Titans, Titans or, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and canonically, yeah. Uh, Zack Snyder has said that the Robin that was killed in his Justice League was Dick Grayson, yes. a- aka. Robin and then Nightwing, but maybe he was turned into the Joker. You're right. Never, it's never been, it's never been said in the movie. So no. you, if you want, if if they want to bring back Dick Grayson, they can just do it. Also, there was a magic wishing rock, and everybody went mad in the '80s. So it doesn't matter. They can just do anything. That's true. Oh like, yeah, that's right. There was a magic wishing rock, yeah. Mason. How quickly we forget. <laughs> it was also turned into a man. Just to clarify, yeah, that's in true. In case we get emails, mm, yeah, yeah. well, we kind of skipped over this one, but Booster Gold is a great character. Oh yeah, he's a really good. Justice League episode about him that centers on him. The cartoon, yes. Yep. Mm-hmm. So he, well, you can explain him. You know, well, he's a he. He appears on the scene. Yep. Uh, in the modern day, and he's like, "Hey, I'm the, I'm a superhero, and I'm getting all these brand endorsement deals, and I'm I'm the superhero everybody wants to be. I'm super cool." But it turned out that he was just he was he's from the future, and he was like a um like a like a wannabe sports star who had a gambling problem, mm. and he. 
didn't hit it, but, and then he 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 lost all his fame and fortune, and then he started working in a superhero museum, and he's just like, if I went back in time, if I stole all this superhero stuff, yeah, and I went back in time, because he's be, not super powered. No, yeah, it's, it's got all, all it's all gimmicks, tech stuff. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Mm. and then he does. Yeah, but sometimes he's erased from history every now and then, isn't it? That's he? correct. Yeah, every now and then someone will hit something that stops him from classic existing. cancel culture. It really is, isn't it? Mm. Uh, so, I, what about John Constantine? Taken a few ch- shots, haven't they? Yeah, yeah. But I think they'd. What if they just brought in Keanu Reeves and just be like, he's Constantine? I'd be okay with that. People honestly, would love that. I would love that. Yeah. Um, because I, the, I, I know he's supposed the, to be British and blonde and stint. Yeah. I know that. Uh-huh. Yeah, but, yeah. But it, but here's the thing: he's been Constantine before. Yes. And that 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 there's a lot. Of, as we've said before, there's a lot of value to just having someone there for a while yep, and then threaten to take them away and people are like, how dare you? Remember when Brandon Routh was Superman again? Yes. Everyone crazy. Exactly. They would, it would explode people's brains now. And we're, we're, we're still in the Kia-naissance. Yes. And I'm I not say a bad Ki- guy. I say Kia, yes. I also say Kia, yes. Yeah, I mean, again, like, uh, sure, blonde Constantine, but why would you? Right. Just do this version, I guess. God. Yeah. And also we know definitively in that universe Shia LaBeouf is dead, which means he can't come back. <laughs> it's true. So that's okay with me. What about um, – I mean, The nightmare sequence. Yeah, why not? Right. What about Dead Man? Because you can give that to multiple people also. Yeah. Keanu Reeves. Keanu Reeves could be a dead man. Mm-hmm. So Dead Man is a guy who – well, if you die, then you get the dead man powers and you can come back. And if you've got a big D on you, I can't remember. <laughs> There's just one of him, James. No, because in uh, Injustice – Yes. Dick Grayson becomes Dead Man. Oh, yeah, right. You can the Dead Man powers can be transferred. Okay, even though that's an alternative universe or whatever. whatever uh-huh. You know what I'm talking yes. about. Yeah. Don't you think that'd be cool? Um, would it be cool? Would it be cool? As a concept, I'm sure it is cool. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. For people who don't know, Dead Man can inhabit. He's a spirit, and he can ab- inhabit other people's bodies. Mm. Um, do we need Do we need him for this DC universe though? No, what, what is the what's the big? He'd be a Justice League dark character. Yeah. If he were mm-hmm. to appear at all. Yes. Remember that movie they were going to make? Yes. And maybe they still are. Well, they made the cartoon. But if, if and when and how? Right. And if. Or why? Yeah. My God. Mm. What about Adam Strange? Ah, uh, yes. I have kind of Is a he one of those man. guys who knows who he is and whatever? No, he's like a Buck Rogers kind of character. <laughs> okay. Yeah, okay, he's a, fine. He's a, he's a jetpack and ray gun kind of guy. Yeah, right. Okay, cool. All right, fair enough. What if he went more like into a Lobo direction? Would you do Justice League Dark? Would he be like a weirder? Version and no, whatever. he'd be out of space. He'd be. Um, yeah. I would love to see the dark. Maybe like a about... maybe a Green Lantern core, not addition, but in that. Yeah, kind of sure. movie. Yeah, yeah. Or mm. show that they're making. Yes. Yeah. Cool. Oh my god, I'm looking here. Star. Yeah, every James. Every time you say one of these characters, it just makes me <laughs> you look, sad. You look really upset. It just makes me sad that there's like. I, you said that, and I'm like, oh, yeah, he'd fit right in in the Guardians of the Galaxy because Marvel have already gone like, hey, wacky out of space. He's out, could, here, well, we've, we, you know, we've we've explored Earth, and that's cool. But he's, he, and, you, and you thought that was it, but we went out to space, and it's amazing. Yeah. Look at all these incredible sights and sounds, and you could and drag in, yeah, and you could drag in somebody of his like equal in the Marvel universe because they've set it up for that. Yeah. In multiple movies. Yes. But you're right. It is very upsetting. Yeah. yeah. But again, DC has, in the comics, exactly as rich cosmology, you know. Yeah, exactly. Which I love. I love all that stuff. And to be like, okay, well, I guess he's probably just an angry albino guy at a bar. That's, that's <laughs> what he'll be. Or he'll just be, they'll, Lex Luthor will build him in a pit, mm. a big wet pit. He'll, he'll emerge from a big wet pit. And it, yeah, exactly. He'll we just... got this DNA from a meteor or whatever. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, imagine that. God. We got this DNA from a meteor or whatever. <laughs> what do you think, Mercy? I killed you in that courtroom explosion. Yeah. Just talking to myself. Anyway, I just pour this DNA in a wet pit. <laughs> See what we get. Oh, it's a big, it's a big albino guy. <laughs> ah. So what about the Futures End Justice League? Because uh, this is 35 years in the future. Uh-huh. What if we, what if we, what if we took it ahead okay. and looked at a different team? So this team has got Kal El Superman. It's got Kai Ro as Green. When you Lantern. say Kal El Superman, which one are you talking about? Uh, the regular Superman. Okay, sure. Yeah, he's Kal El. <laughs> yes, I know. Is there another Kal El? No, but I mean, it's just regular Superman except slightly older. Yeah, exactly. Say. He's probably okay. got grey temples. Yeah, yeah, Sometimes yeah. he doesn't. I don't mm-hmm. know. Uh, Big Barter. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Aqua Girl. Okay. Uh, Warhawk and Micron. All right. Who's Micron? I don't know. I've never heard of Micron. Let me check into Micron. The atom is a shit. Uh, I think he's an atom dude. Yeah, okay. he's one of those guys who is atom, but not, yeah. Uh-huh. Unknown name. 
Oh, my goodness. Sounds like a boring team and I hate it. No, I got some good stuff in there. Don't you want to see Superman from the future, see what he's up to? He's like, I'm jaded a bit now. But then they've done that. Exactly. You were jaded before. (laughs) No, but I'm a bit more jaded. There was a brief period in the middle where I was full of hope and life. When I came back. You didn't see that. You didn't see any of that because we haven't made that movie yet. Don't you think also when he came back to life, though, he would get that like flash of like, I love being alive and that's cool. How long do you reckon that would last? Until the first oil tanker he has to drag. Yeah, and he's like, oh, <laughs> again with the oil t- tanker dragging. Oh. <laughs> Speaking oh. of uh, Superman, we recorded Superman 3, but Superman 2 is coming up this week for Caravan of Garbage. That's We're right. doing the Christopher Reeve movies. Ben is working on them as we podcast. That's right. I don't really have any others here that I really want to talk about. Do you have any others? Uh, let's have a look. Yeah. This is kind of depressing. I thought this would be fun, but I'm just sad. <laughs> Asriel? What about like a Jean-Paul Val? That's more of a Batman. That's more of a Batman thing. villain, yeah. What about Detective Chimp? I would love to see Detective That's Chimp. That's a Justice League dark thing yeah. as well, yeah. So for those who don't know, he is a – it's the name. Yeah. The name is well, what see, it is. see, that's the thing. Like this I, – I, why not do Justice League dark? You don't even have to call it Justice League dark. Just be like he's a bunch of magical weirdos in the DC universe. That's what they should call but it. But in constant – Keanu Reeves, Constantine, bring him back. People. That, that's yep. your linchpin. That would be incredible. And you put in Detective Chimp. It's Jack Black. Whoa. Because he was in King chimp. Kong. Yeah. And then they'd be like, whoa, you know? Whoa. And then you get bloody Const- Constantine. Different, two constant ki- Constantines. Wow. You get TV Constantine. Constant Constantine. That's right. I did like TV Constantine. I thought he was good. You would. I, I did. Mm-hmm, I yeah. do. Yeah. yeah. Bring in uh, Barbara Gordon as Oracle, leading the. the, the, the That'd uh, be cool. Yeah, yeah. But what about if they did, like, put her as a bat character instead? That'd be great, also. Mm. Two great choices. What about Katana? <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't want to mess with her, obviously. No, well, obviously you've got that. you got that sword that traps the soul of her yeah, victims. Yeah, yeah. So. God, there's some crap names here, though, isn't there? Would you, would you like to see a Justice Society? Yeah, who's that again? I get them all confused. That is the World War Two era. Oh yeah, definitely. Team, yeah, right? I love that comic. Yes, I think there's a Justice Society animated movie coming up soon, or it's out, or it's out. Mm. Uh, but it's got it's also got a modern day flash in it for some reason. They're so like, we're have... gonna we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna stop World War Two, but also Barry Allen's here, or it's World War One, but it doesn't matter. But anyway, and also Barry Allen's here. You don't – why – Why we don't need that. No, we don't. Unless it. it's great. I don't we know. need a I'm guy from the future who goes, this is just like this is just like Game of Thrones, guys. And they're like, we don't know what that is. And he's like, don't worry. Can you believe Can this, Can you believe he says? this? This is like Game of Thrones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's right. He's from 2017. Yeah. <laughs> you ever play a Wolfenstein? It's just like Wolfenstein around here. <laughs> We don't know what Wolfenstein is. It's a video game but I don't know based what that on the is. war we're currently in. Excuse me? <laughs> They've made a game based on this war? Yeah. There's heaps of them. We have a fun time. There's one a minute. Yeah, there's so many. And people are, and, and, and people like these. Some people are mad about them. Because there's a woman in it. That's not right. It's, not because it's glorifying war, but there's, there's a, a woman, woman soldier. And they're mad about they're it. They're mad about it. I'm just looking at all these speeds to come. Now that I say these things, it sounds crazy. <laughs> I'm going to go back to the modern day because I'm the Flash. <laughs> so I'm looking at all these different speeds to characters and I'm just like, whatever, to be honest. Mm. Do you want to see any of the other speedsters? Nope. They're all kind of the same. They're all kind of the same. <laughs> and I know they're different, uh-huh. but they're all kind of the same. Every time I watch a trailer for the new season of The Flash, every time there's a new... Who's this new speedster, Mason? Right. This one's wearing a black mask. And then somebody says, run, Barry, run. But he's like, he's, this one's faster than even me. <laughs> run faster. And he's like, okay. <laughs> I don't watch it. That's probably great. It's still going, isn't it? Yep. Yeah, yes, it is. Yeah. Anyway, I love all those, James. Black Condor. No. Nope. Agent Liberty. Nope. This one called Ray. I love the. I actually love the Ray. It's the no, Ray. This is just Ray. Click on it and see what it says. The Ray's a fictional. Uh, it says, he's James, set- they're all fictional, mate. Just shut up. Ray Terrell. Uh, yeah, that's the, he's the Ray. Okay. Yeah. Well, then why does it just say someone needs to know. fix this? But anyway, the Ray was in World War Two, but then in the nineties, the in the nineties, there was a like a like a, a sequel series as another mosquito. <laughs> yeah, didn't get it. That one. Yeah, it's right there. Um, the in the uh, in the nineties, there was a, a Ray sequel series where it was about his son. Yeah. And he, his son was told his entire life that he couldn't go outside because the 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 sun would. You know, the, Sunrise. Yeah, he he had like a you know a debilitating condition that would kill him, and then finally he leaves his house and he's like, "Oh no, I've got superpowers and a bad dad." Apparently, so the, he gets his powers from the sun. Yeah, yeah, but only directly, like in Superman Four. 
Ah, uh, he doesn't have to go into the sun. No, no, but he can like absorb the rays like yeah, a plant. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's why he's called Ray. What's his son's name? Oh, Ray is his son. Oh. The other one's called like Joe or something. You know? Joe. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, I love the Ray. The Ray was really good. It sounds like it's I a I would love to you... see the Ray. All right. Well, you can't oh. because they're not making any of these. God Didn't damn it. Yeah? Well, I'll watch, then I'll watch the episodes of um, Legends of Tomorrow that he's in. Can't wait. Yeah. Is he in a house in that? And he comes out and he's no, like, I don't think, I don't think it's, I don't think his origin is really discussed that much. This is crazy. Listen, we've got to move on though, Mason. Okay. <laughs> because we've got to do the next segment of the show. And do you uh-huh. remember what it's called? It's called What We Readin'. Yep. Then there's an additional part to it. Yep. Which is what we're going to read. That's correct. And here we go. I'm doing the theme. Westworld. A couple of weeks ago, people yes. thought I didn't say it, but I did say it just quietly. Yeah, so I just yeah, want to make yeah. sure that I am. You made still an oath it. to yourself. I did. You would always say it. Would always say it. The further away from context it gets, it matters naught for you, James. It you would just naught. keep saying it. That's right. Now, what I've been reading, which I've been really enjoying coming back to, is the first uh, volume of Invincible. Oh yes. Which we're going to cover for the next book club. Aren't That's right. We? Yes. Maybe the one after that. I can't remember. What we're up to. I think we're up to this. Yeah. It's good. It's still good, and uh-huh. I'm just going to leave it at that. But what are you reading? Uh, does it feel like a what? What is it about? What it's is it quicker a, than I remember? Like it moves quicker. Yeah, than I right. It. Um, and I, I think that was also kind of the style at the time. Yeah, like it's kind of uh, I don't know. I think they call it deconstructed storytelling, but it was like you know you you look at a page and it's literally just someone getting out of bed and getting yep. ready to go outside, and then the next page is them walking down the street. No, they don't do any of that. Huh. It's just it's quick. Oh, it's good. It's fast paced. There's yes. a lot of punching. So it's just like it'll just cut to him stopping a bank robber. Oh, no, that's And then he's that's... like, let's get bagels or whatever. Oh, that's much better. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, I've been watching Dead Pixels, which is a uh, a British sitcom about uh, gaming nerds. Oh, I've heard that's good, right? It's fun. Maybe I mean, from it's... you. Um, no, I don't think so. This is the first time I've mentioned it. We've talked in real We've life. We've never talked in real life, James. <laughs> we, we will never. <laughs> You're right. Yeah, so what, what about it, though? It's it's I mean it's it's fun in the way of like you you get the you know the briefest kind of six to twelve episode kind yep. of glimpse into the lives of in this case it's you know uh, MMO RPG nerds yes who are yes, all, yes. Or like you know they're 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 terrible and uh, horrible people who are you know that's my favorite just kind of working people. together to to defeat this online game that's my kind of pl- people Mason. Mm. Um, so let's, uh, well, that's all, what, that's it. That's all I've been reading, really. Oh, what have I, Just been uh, watching Superman movies so we can record them. He's going to get that mozzie. He got it. He missed it. Mm-hmm. Oh, no, the mozzie's beating him up. No, I think. No, it's up there. I, oh, okay, I thought I grievously wounded it. No, Mason, it got stronger. Stronger than yeah. ever. It's up there doing bicep kills now. Whoa. Design you off, mate. Whoa. So that's good, isn't it? I um, wish I had more things to read. But oh, here's, here's a note. Okay. I, I, love... this, this, I should have put this in news, but I didn't. I love news. Um. Last week, the uh, the Twitter account for Marvel's Inhumans oh, finally yes. uh, finally put another tweet it's out, reactivated uh, after a year, and it was the ad for the Falcon and the Winter Soldier. What's going on there? Do you Which think? either somebody just remembered the password for Inhumans, yes, the, the Twitter account, or and it's a coincidence, or it has something to do with Falcon and Winter Soldier, which is what I'm banking on. <laughs> I'm thinking that. Because it looks in the trailer, it looks like they're searching for some sort yeah, of weapon. Some kind of, yeah, that's true, actually. I think actually. it might be Terrigen crystals or something oh like that. Oh, my God, you're I probably I think they right. are. Like, uh, having, having, we rewatched The Inhumans for Caravan of Garbage. Boom, Mason. And we were Stop like, saying that. they're never going to bring this back. But obviously they're going to bring back. <laughs> no, I'm, I, I don't think they're, they're going to bring in humans back. Yes, but, they're but not, not gonna those, bring inhumans. those inhumans. Yes, for back, sure. Yeah. But, I, you know, given that, uh, you know, Kamala Khan is going to be in, mm. is going to get her own uh, movie. And she's an inhuman. Yeah, and she's an inhuman. Yeah. I'm, I'm guessing that that's how they're going to tie these in together. I love when they take comics mm. and put them onto moving pictures. And not just flipping a comic quickly. I'm talking actual celluloid. Huh. Sometimes digital. Yeah. It's usually digital these days, mm. isn't it? Yeah. Wow, that's great. Should we do the next segment of the show? Yes. Let's do it then. Letters. It is letters. The classic one was the letters. That water's for you, by the way. Thank you. Love you haven't drunk any, is all I'm saying. Skull, 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 no, we're not friends. We're colleagues. Well, yeah, you said it with a practice ease of a really horrible man. So, 
Uh, yes. Yeah, so listen, if you want to reach the show, hashtag Weekly Planet Pod on Twitter or shoot us over an email to weeklyplanetpod at gmail.com where also people are now sending us audio messages. That's right. Which do you want to start with that or do you want to yeah, do some chuck, tweets Yeah, chuck first? them out. Chuck I'll need I'm... your headphone. Oh, yeah, that's right. So while you do that, maybe I'll do a tweet. Okay. Uh, this is from uh, Shamil Shemite says, will you ever get on TikTok, hashtag Weekly Planet Pod? Uh, no, no, but it's only because it's a new social media platform and I can't be bothered. Yeah. If it was anything, I wouldn't do we it. We hate new things, yes. Yeah, we hate new things. Uh, no idea um, with it. A friend of the show, Nando V Movies, is oh, on yes. TikTok, I believe. But, uh, I bet he's crushing it. Yes. I bet he's doing all sorts of hot content. That's right. I knew it. I could tell. Yeah. I could tell by the way he does things, Mason. That's right. I knew what he's about. He's got a fluidity about mm, him that you need right. to be on TikTok. He's got a movement. Yeah, that's yeah, right. Yeah, exactly. Let's listen, that's, to uh, Let's listen to a voicemail. Yeah, that's right. A screened one. Now, one is screened and one oh, is unscreened. One we listened to, one we didn't listen so here to. We there yeah. we, here we go. Here we go, Mason. This is the screened one. James and Mason, I love listening to your podcast while I work. I work at a construction site, and uh, oftentimes I'll go into a house, find myself alone, and pop in the headphones and listen to your podcast and turn around after washing a bunch of windows and realize that somebody has been there, and, and I can't help but wonder how many times they've just heard me giggling to myself as I listen to your podcast because you often you often make me laugh out loud. So I uh, I think I look kind of like a crazy person um, regularly to people. So uh, so thanks for that. Oh, you're welcome. Loved it. Um, who's yeah, that from, James? That was from. Oh, sorry, I didn't say the name. Joshua. Oh, do I say the first the first name? Say Last every name, name Joshua Garner. So no, thank you so much for taking this. What time a nice, what a nice to voice listen mail. every goddamn time yeah. that you're at work, and we're glad that uh, we're giving you a giggle. I like that he said every time I sneak into a house, <laughs> because in context, obviously that the house he's he's working on, he's building some stuff in there. Yes, yes. But I like to think he just he's like I'm going to take my break, guys, from working on this house, and then he just sneaks into a nearby house. <laughs> That's hot stuff. It's hot stuff. No, thank right? you. We really appreciate that. We're glad when people like the thing, don't we? Yes. We've got another un, un, uh, unscreened one. This is from David Roberts. He says, "I wrote this riff and don't know what to do with it. I usually play speed metal." So here you go. It's what's from the uh, What's the subject line? Well, the subject line is disco version of the Weekly Planet. Here we go. Is this the new theme song, Mason? Maybe. Let's find out. It definitively is, James. Yes, it is. But he said butthole. But so he said, mmm. At the end, he did say that Straight after end. butthole, he That's said, mmm. That's so, true. I love it. Yeah, I loved that. I loved it felt also. felt very jazzy. Yeah. Did it feel that way to you? I mean, it felt more disco-y to me. But Oh, yeah, that's yeah. true. That's what I meant. Mm. Whatever I said. That was tremendous. I, I loved it. I loved it too. Oh, my God. If you've got any alternate theme songs, send them on through. Yeah. Dave. We'll, we'll take any. We'll take any genre. It can be any song. Really? You can even you can play any <laughs> song, Yeah. <laughs> That's right. You want to throw us Wonderwall? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Give it a listen. I mean, if you were the rights holder to Wonderwall. Yeah. And then you let us. Either e- e- either of the Gallaghers, if you're out there listening. Yeah. And you 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 just want to you just want to fire up that email and and send us your version of Wonderwall. This is a, this is the thing I do. It's my impression. Yeah. Ready? I hate my fucking brother. So that's either of that's the Gallaghers. Of the, yes. <laughs> okay. Great. <laughs> I think I've done it before, but I love it. Sometimes I do it to myself. Yeah, it's good, right? Because I do hate my brother. Yes. So, you know. uh, but which one? Both ones. They're yeah, both. Both ones. All right. Uh, what, what else you got in terms of I'm going to send some emails. I'm going to read I've some, some emails, more James. Tw- I've got one more tweet, but why don't yeah. you do some emails? This is, this is an email we got this week. I put this on Instagram because I liked it so much. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, it's from Dominic Paul McKenzie mm. to weeklyplanetpod at gmail.com. Mm. It says, hello, weekly planet pod. Hello. This email informs you that you have been certified as a beneficiary of the estate and resources of late Craig Planet Pod. Yeah. After extensive long-term research, if you are of the Planet Pod lineage, I, I will give you more information about your benefits. How do we get in on this from the ground up? We're going to be rich, obviously. <laughs> but I love that. My favorite part about this is there's been no, there's there's been no. Um, it's a clearly a, a generated. Uh, yes, but I love, <laughs> I love it. it. Uh, they, they've they've gone well. This this account has a first name and a last name. So uh, <laughs> you know, do you want to spend a night in? Planet Pod Castle and uh, <laughs> receive your inheritance. It's haunted. Would you spend the night in a haunted castle? Yeah. I'd just do it. Yeah, I'd, bring a, I'd bring a gun. Up. I'd bring a gun. Ghosts, they don't care about guns. It's a ghost gun. What does it shoot? Some smaller ghosts that are aggravated about the bigger ghosts. They have small ghost syndrome. They're really, they're <laughs> mad and feisty. Oh, okay. They're little. Yeah. And they've, yeah, okay. They're out in the town. 
They get yeah, him yeah. aggravated. Exactly, yeah. They're yeah. wearing polos with and then, and then you see a big ghost come at you yeah. and you whispy to your gun, you're like, that guy thinks he's better than you because he's big and you're little. And then you bang and then you get does him. Does it say bang or does it go like yeah. a ghost? That's, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Good. Is that what a noise for ghost makes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great yeah. stuff. Okay, let's do it. Um, gonna... Oh, do you do you have one in mind? Do you already know there's a, is there a haunted well, yeah, house? Yeah, the one that you said. The one that you just oh, said. Oh, I guess us. so. Yeah, yeah, that's probably true. Yeah. All Did right, you we'll email them back? No. Is that we want that? I don't know if we'd get any results, if I'm honest. Mm. We'd probably end up on a list where we get spammed forever as well. Yeah. This is from uh, Frank O the Frank, or Frank to the Frank, sorry. Hashtag Weekly Planet Pod. Frank to the Frank. Hey, mates. Just wondering, as a Nintendo Switch owners, owners, uh, both of us? Just me. Just you. I haven't, okay. bought, I haven't bought one yet. Have you invested in the Scott Pilgrim game that was re-released for its 10-year anniversary? It's uh, like a side-scrolling. It is. Beat him up. Fighting, fighting game, yeah. Keeps up the good work from uh, Sunny Huddersfield. I never played it, and I think I will give it another go. now. Because it wasn't there were rights issue with it. Mm. Maybe it was at Ubisoft or something. I can't remember. Yeah, I think they were, yeah. But that's... So it's based on the comic, but Correct. it came out the same time as the movie. That's right. Which is also based on the comic. Mm-hmm. So it's a... Yes. I've heard it's good. Yeah. It's like it's old school, isn't it? It's, it's old very, school. Yeah, yeah, very. Beat him up a brawler. That's right, yeah. Like a Streets of Rage. Apparently that new Streets of Rage is really good as well. It looks good. I love the Streets of Rage games. Yeah. God. It's, can the car would come and shoot the missiles, remember? Yeah, I remember. God damn. Yeah. What's next, Mason? Uh, I've got one more at least. Can I've you got do two, us that? James, I've got so many. Can I've you got, do us that favor? I've got 100 okay. emails. Okay. As from Lily. Hello. Uh, do you have opinions on Sandman? Yes. Hey, guys, I've recently got back into the pod, so I may have missed you talking about this, and I was wondering if you had any thoughts about the upcoming Sandman TV show. Neil Gaiman described it as being more of a modern-day take than a completely direct adaptation, although he did mention on his Tumblr that they're doing the 24-hour diner, so it's presumably sticking pretty close. Okay. Are you guys excited for it, and what do you think about comic book adaptations sticking close to the originals? Cheers, Lily. Also, can I be the official teen trans Brit who makes spreadsheets about DC TV shows for fun of the podcast? Fuck yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Lily. Uh, I'm very excited, I'm excited for Sandman. For this, yeah. Gwendolyn Christie is going to be Lucifer in yes. this. Yes. Uh, which Char- is interesting because... Charles Dance is in it. Yeah, because we were talking about... Um, Constantine just earlier. Yes. In which Lucifer is also played by, wait, not Lucifer. Uh, Gabriel Archangel Gabriel is played by Tilda Swinton. Tilda Swinton yes. So they're they're both both of these have had a like a gender swapped. Oh yeah. Uh, angelic kind of vibe, which is interesting. It's an interesting idea and aesthetic. I agree. Because when you think like they're all like mythical ghostly beings. Yeah, and sort of really the weird matter. androgyny and stuff like whatever, that. Yeah. I would love to see, just once I would like to see like an Old Testament version of an angel in one of these movies where it's just all teeth and eyes. And, yeah. you know, <laughs> Just a nightmare to behold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. what they really look like Dri- or whatever, supposedly. Crazy. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Great stuff. Uh, I'm excited for that. No, yeah, there's a... there's a, that um, house? Let me find out. I don't know. that's out. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, there's, a, there's, an, there's one particular issue of Sandman, it's quite early in the run, where Doctor Destiny, supervillain Doc, because quite early in the run, it's more attached to the regular DC universe, like it's referenced a lot more. Okay, and then the longer it goes, the further it isn't. So in one of the early comic, uh, like issue five or six or something like that, Doctor Destiny acquires uh, Dream's magical ruby Dream Stone, which he can use to command people, <gasps> and he traps a whole bunch of people in a diner for twenty four hours, <gasps> and and they all go mad and murder each other, and it's Sick. pretty. It's like. It's like as far as to horror as Neil Gaiman went in the in the comic book. Yeah, right. I think he was just like I, I think his rationale for it was How far in is that, did you say so? Like issue six, oh, five right. or six. Okay, yeah. Um I read but, more but I think his rationale was like, I may not do this again, mm. but I'll put it in here so people are like, I don't know what's gonna happen for the rest of this. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. you just you just put in the like the the most horrific Yeah. It's a, like a very horrific twenty four hours and then Dream shows up but he too late. Uh, I know, right? Yeah. Too busy. Have to get a, back to that. Having a, a hard, snooze. Have a hard copy and a digital copy. Ah, oh. still haven't. Yeah, I'm very excited for that. Yeah. Um, you know, there have been some, uh, you know, successful and less successful Neil Gaiman adaptations recently. You know, Good Omens, which yep. some people like. Friend of the show, Andy Matthews doesn't yeah, like. like. I it. liked it a lot. Me too. Um, uh, and American Gods is mm. is still trundling along. And good, apparently. I, I like the first season the, a lot. I, I didn't go back. I didn't go yeah. back to season two and uh, three. Apparently, there were some troubles on set and and oh, uh, no, no. Uh, production difficulties. But I should get back onto it because it's on Amazon Prime, so it's free. Yeah, you, it's you always there that. all the time. Yes. People always say when we say it's free, people are like, "Well, I don't think you know what free means." I don't think you know what free means. Do you know what free means, Mason? Yeah, it means you pay for a subscription to Amazon Prime and then you get it for free. For free. For Every free, time yeah. there's an episode. That's Thank right, you. Exactly, That's what yeah. I thought it meant. Yeah. Uh, There's an email from uh, Admiral Hackbar. <laughs> he says, I didn't lie to my friend, but I did the next best thing. 
Uh, yes. Hey, guys, I've been trying to convince my friend to listen to your podcast, but he is too familiar with the show to lie. So instead, I nagged him repeatedly over many months, met always with, I don't care about comic book news or they're not even funny. Until yesterday. <laughs> We're sitting together in class and when he opens his laptop, what should be on the screen but a Google Chrome tab displaying the T Public Weekly Planet merch page. A victory for the weekly wackadadoos. I agree. Can we be made the official package deal of the podcast? Yes. Absolutely. That is can. an absolute win for us, James. We've done it again. We've gone from <laughs> they're not even funny to... I mean, maybe he hasn't changed his opinion, but he is willing to purchase some merch. Some, yeah. So I think that's important. Turns out we are funny, to that guy at least. Or we've just battered down his defences until he's like, ugh. I'll take it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I love it. What's next, Mason? Here's one more email, James. I love one more from email. Travis. Uh, hello, Travis weekly Wackada Dads. Travis here. I'm the host of the Watchman Minute podcast. It's a movies by minute podcast where we did an episode about every minute of the director's cut of Zack Snyder's Watchmen. Does that include the Black Freighter? Ooh, email back in, Travis. Please do. Travis, email back. Travis. Uh, I know it sounds crazy, but movies by minutes is a whole gen- uh, genre of podcasting. It oh, is. I know. Yeah. Uh, my question is, gun to your head, gun to your dick, what feature-length movie could you podcast about one minute of the movie at a time? Mm, none of them. Couldn't do it. Really? What would you do? Uh, it had to be something dense. Maybe The Phantom Menace. I reckon I could do The I Phantom could do, Menace. I reckon I could do... I think I, there is one. The first, the first mo- movie that came to my head just now is uh, Ocean's Eleven, but not the Rat Pack one. No, 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 the, the, no, uh, no. The no. Clooney Pitt one. There's a lot going on. Yeah, there's a lot of like... It would also be frustrating to watch one minute at a time. Oh, yeah, for sure. I would rather just watch the movie. I wonder what the – I mean, obviously the – the. I, I'd be fascinated, like, from – email back in, Travis. Like, the, I, obviously the, the, you know, the system is you watch – you time out one minute and you watch it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, then do you take notes? Do you talk about the production? Do you talk about the, the – If a scene is about to end but there's, like, a second left, do you have to pause it and then wait for the next – yeah, Presumably how right. um how break it up. how dedicated are people to the uh, th- this is James this, this whole thing's fascinating. Let's take it I, over. I bet that yeah we should. I bet there's like different uh like different podcasts probably have different rules and there's people who are like get a load of these casuals who like let the scene end. We would never let the no, scene. No, we would. We will end. We will end one half of a second before <laughs> the scene ends because that's where that's podcasting. That's podcasting. That's minute baby. by minute podcasting. Yeah. God damn it. No, it'd have to be something. So you couldn't do it with anything. No. What's? Well, it'd have to be something where I have a lot to say, maybe, and that changes rapidly. What's a movie? What's a movie that you would just? You've got the day off, and <laughs> try and imagine that if you can. I can't. Uh, and you, you just want to watch a movie for fun. Movie for fun. Yeah. Yeah. But I norm- look. I'd, I'd probably go to a streaming series if I'm honest. Well, you can't. Oh. Just a movie you like. This is a this is a movie I feel good about it, and I just enjoy it. I could probably do Ghostbusters. I could do the Blues, uh, Blues I Brothers. I recently said Dread, but I've once we did Dread, I stopped watching Dread. Oh, right, right. Carry around a garbage. Yeah, so yeah. that ruined that. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so it can't be one of our homework movies. No, I really like Sunshine. Like genuinely, yeah, I know it's uh-huh. a joke, but I do put that on quite a bit. Uh, I think also if, if it's a movie you really enjoy, yeah, I imagine you could squeeze out like you could just watch a minute and just have a lot to say about it. And also, you don't have to do. You don't have to do. Do you uh, want to do it? Is that what you're doing to me here? No, is that no, what we're doing? No, I'm just curious. <laughs> that sounds like a lot of work for us. Um, I'm saying like I could do it for Iron Man, and I know we've done a oh, yeah. we've done a commentary. We probably, we'll do, probably do a car around yeah, yeah, yeah. but I reckon I could do, very easily. I could do. Yeah. I could do Iron Man because that's a, that's a lot going on, and yeah. just about the future of the series and for yeah, sure. Definitely... And bearing in mind, you don't have to do this. You do a minute a week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. Know, so that's true. But you'd probably bank a few, wouldn't you? Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do, two, you do two minutes do. a week. Two minutes a week. Two yeah, minutes a week. Make it worth your while. Yeah, that's right. Is that the show though? That is the whole show. Thank you so oh, much, goodness. everybody, for listening. We definitely appreciate it. Uh, folks out there in Melbourne, I hope you guys are doing all right. Or anywhere in the world. No, There's I don't care multiple... about anywhere else besides Melbourne. Oh, yeah, you're right. No, everyone, everyone. On... Oh, you're right again. <laughs> <laughs> I am right. It's very true. Uh, thank you, everybody, for subscribing, telling a friend. Yep. Lying about a podcast, yeah. Uh, Give them to buy merch to a friend to get them to buy. Merch. Yeah, just just badgering your friends until they listen, like a badger. Even if they never listen again, we'll take we'll take their download and we will accept the tarnishing of your reputation. Absolutely, in recommending a thing that they definitely don't like. I agree. Um, thank you for leaving a nice review, James. You got a nice review there. Got a got a got a got a couple got of a here, couple. Mason. 
Uh, this is from EZPZ underscore 77. My mm-hmm. favorite podcast. When I first heard this podcast, my thought was, wait a minute, these guys are Australian. Fuck this. But they've grown on me five stars. Thank you. And this nice. one is from BS Moley who says, I'm obsessed with this. Or am I? <laughs> So uh, five stars again. If it really helps out, helps out the show. And I'm obsessed with five star reviews. Me too. Of this podcast I agree. specifically. We could get a few more. I, there's, there's a lot of really fun reviews in there, and I really enjoy reading them, and then reading them out here. So uh, send them through if you can, Please if you do. want. Yeah. See now, what the, what else, Mason? James, uh, folks, if you want to get in touch with the show, you can go to Weekly Planet Pod at Gmail, at Facebook, at Twitter, at Bandcamp. If you want to leave a voicemail, very simple, just record it on your phone, send it as an email. To That's right, Planet a Pod regular email. email. Yeah. Uh, you can also go to the Planet Broadcasting website, planetbroadcasting.com. Uh, you can sign up for the Planet Broadcasting newsletter. You can go to the uh, That's it. Planet Broadcasting <laughs> Great Mates Facebook group. Yes. Uh, you can uh, follow our friend Rob Collings, who is involved with the Planet Broadcasting Facebook group. And the Planet Broadcasting Newsletter, you can follow him at Rock Collins on Twitter. You can follow right. him at The Weekly Planet on Twitter. Mm. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter at Wikipedia Brown. You can follow me on Instagram at Nick Maso, N-I-C-K-M-A-S-E-A-U. James, you're on. Um, you're Mr. Sunday Moves Everywhere. I am everywhere I've ever been. That's exactly right. That's right. Uh, if you want to support the show, you can go to patreon.com slash Mr. Sunday Movies. You can chuck in a buck. We would definitely appreciate it. Keeps the lights on in the podcast room. Yeah, it really does. Keeps yeah. the mozzies coming in hot. <laughs> they love it. They love the lights in here. <laughs> Well, I think we, I think we scared that guy off because he hasn't come back. Yeah, he's gone. That's right. I got him. Yeah. No, you I, didn't. I wounded him badly. You didn't wound shit. No, I did, and he's gonna he's gonna he's gonna regret it for the rest of his days. <laughs> uh, you can also go to the Amazon affiliate link in our episode description. Click yeah, through yeah. on there. You can sign up to BigSandwich.co. It's nine dollars US a month, but you get bonus content. It's all up there. We're not going to delete any of it. No. Uh, we may have said that in the past, but we don't know what we're thinking. Maybe we'll James. do it one day. Maybe we'll just do oh it. Oh my god! We'll just we'll hit the big red button because when Could they be this way. when they built the site, they provided us with a big red button. We've That's each right. got one in our houses, and at any time we push the button, it fires the other one <laughs> and it deletes all the content. But we got bonus podcasts and movie commentaries and all kinds of stuff. That's right. This week is a movie commentary, isn't it? That's right. It's Thor. Yeah, it's Thor. The first Thor. Original Thor. That's right. Mm. Um, uh, we've got t-shirts on tpublic.com. Uh, buy one even if you have listened to the show and you don't like the show. Yeah. That's but we've what... just gotten into your brain enough that yeah, you're like, want, I better get a want, T-shirt. We want you, know? you to buy one. What if these become good? What if these guys become good? Hey, what about if this? we're like Bitcoin, you know? You that's think right. it's value, not value goes up. And then, exactly. And then you, want it, you go to buy a shirt and it's like $500. I've entered the crypto market, Mason. Oh, yeah. But I'm not going to say which ones because I don't want to be responsible for anyone losing all of their money. Is it Dogecoin? Okay, well, it's not that one. Right. But uh, that's all I'll say. Huh. Is it Harry Potter themed? It is Harry Potter themed, yes. Galleons? I don't know yes, what it is in Harry right, Potter. Yeah. Uh-huh. No, it's not. Uh-huh. Uh, but anyway, please continue. Butter bits. Um, um, <laughs> that's what I'd call it. It's good. But I can't now because I put it out in the world. I'd have to do it before this episode comes yeah. out because as soon as I do it, yeah. uh, somebody's, somebody's going to make it. Exactly. Um, thank you to the Brute and the Basilisk and Arrakim for all the musical themes. Thank you to everybody who sent in their own musical theme, whether it be disco or 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 bloody a slow jazz or e- slow emo. Jazz emo. Send an emo. Oh, I love one. an emo one. Yeah, right. Yeah, um, and that's the whole show. That's right. Next week, maybe guests. Oh yeah, maybe guests. That was supposed to be this week, but then but the then world the world, the world down. ended yeah. in Melbourne. Yeah. So yeah, but so maybe, maybe but yes. also maybe not. Maybe not. Very yeah. Much so, yeah. Cool. Cool. All right. Thanks for listening. We really appreciate it. Uh, grab that gem, you guys. We'll see you next week. Goodbye. 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 This podcast is part of the Planet Broadcasting Network. Visit planetbroadcasting.com for more podcasts from our great mates. I mean, if you want, it's up to you.